Hi, my name is Benjamin Lee. Uh, I am the author of a recently published manuscript uh, called Ten Simple Rules for Documenting Scientific Software. Uh, if this is a full article, it's open access, so if you want to read it, just you can search Document Scientific Software or go to the DOI and read it, Plus Computational Biology. But these came about as sort of a checklist for myself in how will I document scientific software. And so I thought I'd share the rules that I came up with myself and published uh, with you guys. First of all, uh, number one, first and foremost, write comments as you code, because the code is what ex defines the execution of your software, therefore the comments matter the single most of anything. Uh, the easiest way to get into a project is with examples and sort of having a piece of working code that you can start off modifying and playing around with, and so have as many examples as you can feasibly have, and then include a quick start guide, which is where these examples, a good place to put them is, to allow someone to jump right into the project and the best place to put that quick start guide is, I think, in a README, which is sort of a standardized location for doing that, and everyone knows to check the README. Uh, similarly, a standardized location for command line tools for help is a help command or man page. So if you're building a command line tool, please do that. Version control the documentation, so that way uh, the, the documentation actually matches what you're using. Uh, if you have an API fully documented, the best way to do that is using automated tools. And finally, write error messages, because that uh, are helpful since you know how your software is going to fail. Maybe you can provide some uh, guidance on what to do. And finally, tell people how to cite your software, uh, either with a, a DOI or a publication or one of the many.